Welcome to IQ Checker YouTube channel, home of science quizzes and IQ tests. Question 4. The diagram shows part of the carbon cycle. 4A. The boxes A, B, C and D show four important processes in the carbon cycle. So name each of these processes. So for you to name these processes from the diagram A. A is the process by which green plants make use of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So the process is called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants make use of carbon dioxide to manufacture their food. Now B. B is the process by which plants and animals produce and release carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. And this process is called respiration. Remember through respiration, carbon dioxide is produced and released to the atmosphere. Respiration produces carbon dioxide. Now C. C is the process by which fossil fuels are utilized to produce carbon dioxide waste. Okay, so therefore C is called combustion or burning. So combustion or burning, this has to do with the use of fossil fuels. Burning fossil fuels to produce carbon dioxide waste. So C is combustion. Now, now come to D. Letter D has to do with the process by which animals feed and gain nutrients from plants. So therefore, D is called nutrition or feeding or eating. Okay, so nutrition is the process by animals feed and gain nutrients from plants. All these processes are the ones captured in the diagram in the carbon cycle provided. Question 4b. Electricity is often generated using fossil fuels. Many countries generate their electricity using renewable energy resources such as wind, turbines, and solar panels. Predict the effect of using renewable energy resources rather than fossil fuels on the carbon cycle. And the second aspect of the question says explain the reason for your prediction. So if you look at the carbon cycle, the use of fossil fuels contributes more of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and this contributes to the destruction of the ozone layer. So using renewable energy resources rather than fossil fuels will reduce the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So it encourages to promote the reduction of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So the reason for this prediction, just as Celia stated, burning fossil fuels produce carbon dioxide while renewable energy does not produce carbon dioxide. For C, scientists use evidence of climate change to predict damaging effects on ecosystems. 4C1. State one piece of evidence for climate change. Climate change is the significant variation of weather conditions becoming warmer, wetter, or drier over a long period of time. So some evidences of climate change include global temperatures such as global warming. The sea levels is also an evidence area of the polar ice caps. Then varying weather conditions. All these are evidences of climate change. Now question 4C2 suggests two effects of climate change. Effects of climate change associated with increased rainfall can bring about increased sea levels and more flooding. So definitely when there is a climate change that is associated with increased in rainfall, increased rainfall. It can increase the sea levels and also cause more of flooding. 
So on the other hand, the effects of climate change associated with decreased rainfall can bring about droughts, can bring about extreme hot weather events and can increase the melting of ice and glaciers. So any of these two effects are good enough. All right, any of the two, either it is associated with increased rainfall or decreased rainfall, it is good to go. Question five, Lily compared the densities of three substances, A, B, and C. Look at the table of information. 5A, calculate the density of substance A. And density of a substance is calculated as mass divided by volume. So from the table, substance A has a mass of 90 grams and volume of 20 cm cube. So dividing 90 by 20 will give us 4.5 gram per cm cube. So the density of substance A is 4.5 gram per cm cube. Now question 5B. Suggest which substance, either A, B, or C, is a gas and explain your answer. Okay, so let's go back to the table of results. The column of density, we have calculated the density of substance A to be 4.5 gram per cm cube. So substance B has a density of 0.0032 gram while substance C has a density of 0.97. So from here, the substance with the lowest density is substance B. Hence, substance B is a gas. And the reason is simply because it has a very low or it has the lowest density. That's why substance B is a gas. Question 6. Answer the questions about thermal heat energy transfer. Choose from the list. 6a. What is the main form of thermal energy transfer in solids? So you've been provided with a list of words and you are to use a term that is associated with this description. So the form of thermal energy transfer, also known as heat energy transfer in solids, is called conduction it is there in the list of words all right so conduction is a form of heat energy transfer in solids question 6b what is the main form of thermal energy transfer in liquids and gases okay liquids and gases the form of thermal energy transfer also known as heat energy transfer in liquids and gases known as convection it is also there in the list of words provided so heat energy transfer in liquids is called what convection while that of solids is called conduction okay question 6c1 saucepan handles are made from wood this is because wood is a good dash so saucepan handles are made from wood because wood is a good insulator it doesn't conduct heat insulator is also present in the list provided all right insulator does not conduct heat so it is a good insulator now question 6c2 copper is a metal so it is a good dash copper is a good conductor of heat conductor is also present in the list of words Note that when answering these kind of questions, ensure to use the appropriate word from the list of words provided. That is very, very important. So copper is a metal and so it is a good conductor. Metals are good conductors, insulators are poor conductors of heat. Question 7. The diagram shows an egg cell and a sperm cell. 7A1. The nucleus of the egg cell and the nucleus of the sperm cell both contain chromosomes. What are chromosomes made of? Okay, chromosomes is present in the nucleus and it contains DNA. 
Although gene is acceptable, but the perfect answer is DNA. The chromosomes contain the DNA and is also present in the nucleus. Question 7A2 now says, describe what happens to the nucleus of the egg cell and the nucleus of the sperm cell during fertilization. So fertilization, just as we already know, we've been taught, fertilization is the fusion or joining together of the nucleus of the egg cell and the nucleus of the sperm cell to form zygote. So during fertilization, the nucleus of the egg cell and the nucleus of the sperm cell fuse together, join together. So use the term fuse, that's more scientific. So the nucleus of the sperm cell and that of the egg cell fuse together during fertilization. Thank you for watching, subscribe and click the bell button for notifications. Thank you.